Hello and welcome to the EMP Tech Group. Back out in the shop, back out in the shop with Mike Wright uh, with a, pro a customer project, an EMP product, uh, kind of a fun, exciting thing. One of those things where, uh, gosh, that's simple, right? And it mm -hmm. turned out to be really complicated and not simple. So um, we've been working on, we, we've had a lot of RFID portals in the past, mainly made out of 8020 with, with some screening in there to, to block the RFID mm -hmm. energy and keep it where we want it. Uh, but we finally decided to go official mm -hmm. and have a steel eight foot tall RFID portal. Everybody's are yellow and I was kind of wanting to make ours our color, but then it's safety yellow. Yes. Uh, you're putting it next to yellow post by a truck dock, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it needs to be yellow. So ours is yellow like everybody else's. Um, but it's a little bit different and this one is really different. And it's really different because the customer came to us and said, hey, I've already got a program written I'm having to scan the barcodes as I'm loading the trucks. I got to pick up a scanner, scan the barcode every time I load something, and um, and I don't want to scan barcodes. I want to. I've already got RFID tags on my product. I just want to walk by this portal and have the data go into my 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 program just like the barcode scanner would. And I, I was the sales rep on site during that meeting. I went, sure, no problem. Well, it was a problem because because Mike, what the RFID reader itself likes to do what it just spits out a lot of data about the tags so yeah. not just the content of the tag but you know when was it scanned and a lot of other data and, and it doesn't spit it out in ascii it spits it out in hex right yeah, yeah. so you got to go hexadecimal and convert mm -hmm. it to ascii so to get it to work like a regular barcode scanner by the way this is a zebra fx 9600 mm -hmm. and it's got two an 480 antennas in here and uh the customer only needs the, the portal on one side of the dock in this mm -hmm. application, but they want keyboard wedge output. Yes. So to get that, we, for, for their sample, we put a Raspberry Pi in there, right? And you guys wrote uh, code. Mm -hmm. uh, that's running Linux, right? Yes. So you, you wrote code in C Sharp. And, C Sharp, .net. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you did the conversion of the data, and but you also stripped off all the ancillary stuff. Yeah. What else does the reader put on that string? It's got a date timestamp when okay. you've got it. You can get the RSSI value, you can get some other information, what antenna read it, and those type of things. Got it. But in this case, the customer said, I just want what's on the barcode mm -hmm. that I've also encoded in the tag yeah. to show up. So we did a Raspberry Pi for the proof of concept with them, but eventually we'll write the code and put it on the Zebra reader. So it's mm -hmm. doing all that stripping of the data and conversion of the data all in the reader, yes. not going through a secondary device, which I consider to be mm -hmm. uh, possibly unreliable. Mm -hmm. So we'll do it without that. So um, stack light on top, not lit up right now, but if you trip the photo eye, it goes yellow, yeah. but it doesn't transmit anything. You've got your laptop yeah. over there with, with a spreadsheet up yeah. there, right? Mm -hmm. Like emulating what the, the customer's yeah. program kind of looks like a spreadsheet, even though it's yes. not. So as people walk by this portal all day long and trip it off, no RFID tag, so no harm, no foul, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Because this is a truck dock, so yes. people are kind of walking back and forth. And we've got the photo eye turned to where, if I'm out here, yeah, I tripped it out there, yeah. but but it's, it's, out, it's yeah, dialed back. And the reader certainly turned but down, mm -hmm. so as to not get a bunch of stray RFID reads. And I've got one of the customer's tags here, and I'm going to show it. Um, and it's just, you know, 558608106 of six is what it says. Mm -hmm. And that's what's in the RFID tag. Uh, probably with yeah. some other yes. stuff, right? Yes. Yeah, and, but you only want it to show what's there. So we're going to do that, and you'll see the green light went off, and it beeped, yeah. just like a barcode scanner. Mm -hmm. And then in your spreadsheet, it actually, yeah, it actually showed mm -hmm. up. So I'm going to do it, you know, three or four times yeah. here, and it yeah. just pumps it in just like a barcode scanner. Mm -hmm. The simplest of things yeah. Yeah. that that you would want, but an RFID reader is normally saying, I'm going to read this data, I'm going to parse this data, filter it, and I'm going to put it in a database table yeah. somewhere. I'm not going to export mm -hmm. it keyboard wedge. Uh, but that's what we've done here. That's what the customer needed. Mm -hmm. The simplest of applications that turned into the most complicated <laughs> of applications. And we got the first use of our new RFID portal that we're going to start using a customer mm -hmm. installations. There was nothing wrong with what we made before. It was an 80-20 structure. But this is cleaner and nicer yeah. and, and, and looks a little bit better. So, cool. Working on lots of RFID projects with customers. So if you have an RFID need, Mike and his team yeah. are our secret weapon. Uh, because 
RFID projects don't typically work like a barcode yes. scanner and you just plug them in and they work. Usually, in this case, it was the opposite. We had to take a complicated product and, mm -hmm. and do a lot to get it to do the simple stuff. But RFID uh, needs, needs, customers usually need help with it and that's what we're here for. EMPTechGroup.com, always the best place to reach us. Thanks for your time today.